Hi friends, this is Sophie. Welcome to Studi's Cuisine. My voice is not yet back to normal, but still I can talk. Christmas is around the corner and we are all in the Christmas spirit. So I thought of making a Christmas cake, although I was not much in favor of making it now, but when the Christmas season comes, you just want to do something to uh, give away as gifts. So today I'm going to make Christmas cake and I've made this Christmas cake even earlier. Y'all can go back to my channel and see how it is. Okay, so here is my Christmas tree, not fully decorated, but it has been decorated with my daughter and my granddaughter with their own hands. So the whole thing is done, you see here? This, they got the, with the little items which they get to buy and they made it themselves with their hands and they hung it, to, which is not yet complete. So Christmas is coming so close. So I thought of making cake, Christmas fruit cake. So this time it's going to be a little easier than before. Um, but each time I make it has got its own variations and um, preparations. So I've already soaked my Christmas fruits uh, in rum and kept it for two weeks, which I have to just keep on uh, mixing it. I got help from my family members for mixing it. So let's go and see how we prepare it. Okay. I wish to thank all my viewers. I know I've been getting messages that uh, why I have stopped uploading my recipes. Uh, the main reason is I need uh, people to help me as I cannot chop with my right arm. Please look up the videos which are uploaded earlier so you can have a variety of Christmas uh, fruitcakes in which you find it easier to uh, make. Uh, I think there are three different ways I have uploaded and this is one this year I'm uploading. So let's go and see. Thank you to all my viewers who have subscribed and who will be subscribing after seeing this uploaded video. Thank you and I need your comments which is most appreciated. Please keep viewing and keep sharing it with your friends and relatives. Just roasting the cashew nuts, the pecans and the pistachios which enhances the flavor of the nuts when it's put in. So I'm just going to roast all this uh, spices, cardamom, cloves, uh, star anise and uh, a piece of nutmeg. One cup of sugar, I'm going to caramelize it. So here it is caramelized. Okay, just enough, somewhat to be melted. I'm going to put half a cup of water. I'm switching on the flame now. It should be on very low fire, okay? You can put it on, the flame on, and put, it, put the water slowly. Or you can switch it off completely and put it and then switch it on, okay? So that it won't get um, your fingers or hands on it. So here is a caramelized sugar, so I'm going to switch it off for some time until it's nice and cool. By the time it gets a little more thicker, okay? So I'm switching it off now. Hi, so I have assembled all my things here. So I have soaked um, the dry fruits, uh, which is a lot. I won't be taking the whole thing, but I will tell you how much I'll be using for this particular cake. I'll be showing you the close-up of the various ingredients I'll be using today for the Christmas fruit cake. So this is the various dry fruits that I have put. No nuts at all, but only the fruits, which are, you get most of it is uh, pre-chopped. You get it to buy. And so what is in this is uh, the various fruits that are soaked in rum is 600 grams of dates, red cherries 400 grams, green cherries 400 grams, raisins 400 grams, black, black currant 200 grams, cranberries 400 grams, prunes 250 grams, candy ginger 200 grams, apricots 250 grams, pineapple 400 grams. Okay, so this is soaked in three cups of rum and on the first day and then I have put another one cup of rum after two days. So this is soaked for two weeks and I have keep, kept on mixing it so that it gets equally distributed. Now, this is 200 grams of nuts. It's pecans, uh, almonds, and pistachios. Okay, this is the spices. I have, uh, just to show you the spices, I've put cardamoms, uh, a nutmeg, star anise, cloves, and cinnamon. So this is for one cake, but I'm making two sets of cakes, so it's double the amount. And I have crushed it here with sugar and kept it, orange zest. Brown sugar, two cups. All-purpose flour is three cups. Six eggs and kept it ready. Butter, which is two and a half cup. I have the vanilla essence uh, and I have the uh, co uh, cocoa syrup. 
then two teaspoons of baking powder. I've already caramelized my sugar. One cup of sugar, which is caramelized. If you want to prepare half of what I'm showing, just prepare, do half of what I'm showing now. So the butter is two and a half cups, okay? So let's cream it soft and fluffy. Put the brown sugar. Let's beat it together. Scrape the sides and then do it again for five, five minutes. Okay, let's continue for another minute or two. Just keep scraping it off two to three times till it's nice and fluffy. Do it once more. Now let's put the egg one by one. Scrape the sides. Here is the caramelized sugar. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put two. And this is cocoa syrup. It gives a nice taste. It's because it gives a nice flavor. It all blends together. Okay, so now we're going to beat it together. So I've put the all-purpose flour in between, as you have seen, so that, you know, you might find that it's getting uh, curdled. And for that reason, you put uh, flour in between, like when you're putting the eggs and other ingredients, because the flour, we don't, it's, we still have it. It's not yet put. And it's the same measure, whatever is kept, I'm putting it in, okay? I have to put vanilla essence. I'm going to put two teaspoons. Baking powder, one teaspoon. So I'm going to mix it. You can mix it along with the with the all-purpose flour. It's crushed spices. So I'm going to put it in this now. Okay, it's so much because I have crushed it with sugar. And I'm going to. It has to be mixed well. A flavorful aroma. So this is my fruits. It's so rich and it's so aromatic. You see? Oh. See the green and the red cherries, the uh, pineapple, the dates, the tutti frutti. Oh my god, there are so many fruits in it. So uh, the fruit depends on how much you want to put. So this is already soaked fruits. I'll just put it in this bowl for the time being. You can put two to three cups of fruits. Okay, so this is two. And this is for three cups of flour. So I am putting four to five cups of three and this is four okay the fourth one i'm just going to keep it aside i'll see how it is after i do the the three okay this is the flour which we have not yet mixed so we need to mix this with the flour okay so i'm going to take the flour just take two to four spoon four, and we can just Mix it around, okay? And in this way, what happens is that all the fruits won't get soaked at the bottom. It remains, it gets distributed evenly. So that's the reason we are doing this. It's very rich um, fruit cake. But it's quite easy once you get everything um, organized and chopped and cut and everything. I'm going to put that one more, okay? So it's four cups. It's not the extra flour, it's the flour which was measured in kit. Okay. And then we're going to mix it all in the batter. Blend it together. This one, two, three cups of flour. Okay. Take it off. We don't need it. We'll scrape all the lovely batter that is there from here put it inside and we've got to mix the fruits and the nuts too the very rich fruit cake isn't it so simple now we are just going to mix the fruits dry fruits and the nuts so that's the next and last step okay so this is the fruits the orange zest of one orange it gives us such a nice flavor and this is the nuts okay 
that's it almost done so we're going to mix it now together make it just mix it it's quite a small bowl compared to the ingredients inside so we mix it together it's going to be okay just have to be a little careful see the rich fruits Ooh, it's quite thick okay just take it from the bottom and just lift it and fold it okay. prepare the pans and keep ahead of time and preheat the oven to i'm going to preheat the oven to 26 275 uh, you can do it as per your oven uh, between 300, 275 and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I used to do it at 300, but I'm going to do it this time and it will be for a longer time. And that's all done. I'm going to put it in various containers and I'll get back to you. So yeah, I have removed my first set of uh, Christmas fruit cake. I've put it in different molds so you can see it. I had kept it around 275 degrees Fahrenheit and I kept it for one and a half hours so it got perfectly cooked and nice and soft so it's still warm to touch i'll just show it to you so this is one i put it in these tins so i can just give it away so i've got two of these tins four of these aluminium foil it's really hot isn't it good yes and my second set is uh, in the oven there you can see it i don't know yeah and um that is not dark brown in color, it's white in color, and it's also soaked in rum. Here, I'll show you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven molds I've kept. I have uh, put it in different shapes. So here you go, it's nice and well, uh, it's ready to eat. Okay. So now what I'm doing is, I'm going to do is, I'm going to just dab it with um, rum. And once it's fully cool, I'm going to just wrap it up. So these I can just give it away because, as it is, because we have a cover to it, where I can just put it and close it. So that's very convenient. And this too, I have a cover to it, which is very good. Uh, the snowman. Thank you very much for watching my videos and please do continue watching them i need you to comment uh, make it yourselves it's quite easy the only tedious um, job in making fruitcake is uh, getting uh, the fruits chopped and nowadays you get ready-made uh, dry fruits that are already uh, chopped but uh, the thing is when you want it the way you like to chop it then you have to buy it whole and then chop it and the nuts so once all this is done the caramelized sugar is done you just have to mix it and push it into the oven and they get a ready Christmas cake, ready to eat Christmas cake and ready to serve and ready to share it with others. So, so please do make it and let me know how it has come out. Okay, it's quite easy. It's not really difficult. In fact, the plain cakes are more difficult than the fruit cakes. Thank you very much for viewing my channel and God bless you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I wish you all a very merry, happy Christmas and a blessed and peaceful New Year. Thank you. So here, I've just put some rum here and I just take it into a syringe. I poke holes on the um, cake and I just put it through those holes. I'll show you how. So this is already done. So you can do the sides first. So here the holes are, I just put it in the holes and then you can just zigzag the whole thing that's it so i'm going to just complete the whole thing and i'll get back to you i'll wait for it to cool and then i'll see you tomorrow these four are the white non-caramelized christmas cake and this is the caramelized christmas cake 